Okay, friction folders. Um, I'm trying to develop a small modern friction folder for UK everyday carry. Started off with a Ford Peasant, fairly cheap, good solid bit of kit, very simple. Um, friction folders have no spring or lock up system. It's basically come round and it's the friction of the handles that stop it from closing. They tend to have these large tangs on them so that when you grip it, you can't fold it on yourself, so you're sort of locking it open um, with your grip. It's a good safety feature for um, a knife, or as I say, there's nothing there to stop it as you would on a normal spring pen knife. Um, however, it does make, even when folded, quite a long knife. It's not really that easy to fit in your pocket. It's got this bit here which is fairly sharp and pointy. Um, and you can jab yourself if you're not careful. Uh, the other thing is the Sport Peasant isn't actually uh, legal due to the blade length. Um, it's only slightly over but most people can easily grind that off to change it. So I started to look at it from scratch. Um, I tried making a similar copy to the Sport Peasant. Um, it still had the same problems. Still too long. Still has this bit sticking out which is um, annoying. So. I started off with looking at a different way of doing it. This, as you can see, does have uh, a legal carry blade length. Um, I've removed the long sticky out tang and replaced it with this very short stubby tang. Um, it does the same job. You can use it to open it. And on this particular first off, um, I used the choil grip here with the thumb which means when you're gripping the blade it's not going to fold because you're holding the blade itself um, now most of the time you're cutting away so you're pushing the blade into the, the stop pin it's only when you do something like trying to bore you're likely to fold it and this one obviously it rolls onto the finger um, choil which isn't sharp uh, they use a similar system in the Spyderco UP, UKPK I think However, because of this, um, it extends the blade forward from the pivot point an extra half inch or so. It does mean you end up to be able to fold it in with quite a long handle for its not for the knife size. So although it is a bit shorter than the Sford, it's not much shorter, but at least it hasn't got this big lumpy bit um, on the end. After playing with this for a bit, I thought, well let's try and make it a bit smaller and more compact and try and overcome this problem here. So I removed the finger choil, moved it back after discovering that if I grip here there's still enough tang under your thumb to get a reasonable grip. It still feels like a bit of a loose folder um, on this particular one but it's not going to close without you knowing about it. So Mark 2, here we go as you can see, smaller, actually smaller than the handle side of the sword, which is quite good. Still a fairly bulky bit of knife, um, as a small, it's not, it's not, not a tiny little gentleman's folder. Um, again, this one's a model made from Perspex. Again, you can flick it open, and as you can see now, there's no choil here. The blade starts straight as is, and I've had to move the thumb ramp back beyond the pivot point so that when you're cutting and holding here, the choil finger choil is now here, again it's pushing into your thumb um, on most grips. So when you're cutting away, again you don't really need it. Uh, again, boring is when you're probably going to have a problem. But in general, even when this folds, the finger is actually fairly safe because it hits um, a ricasso part. So hopefully that's solved the problem and made us a more compact knife. As you can see, again the short tang folds round. I've got fairly big hands but it's not that bad. To look at the mechanism more, I'll clean up the other side. It's all clear perspex as you can see we have a um, quarter inch pivot pin here with washers, a 4mm stop pin 
Um, I've used another pivot pin here because it's the easiest thing I've got available quickly and there's a back is filled in all the way to here as you can see on the, the paper version blade stops a millimetre from the um, back fill and you can see the bottle opener hook here so when it spins round it hits the other pivot pin pivot stop position for the blade open and as you can see the blade hopefully matches the thumb ramp and the thumb ramp of the handle goes beyond the blade so that if you lean on the front of the pivot point you're not pushing on the blade so it makes it harder to, to close um, it can it's set fairly smooth at the moment obviously it's only perspex you can tighten these and set them to what you want um, but the tang does give you a reasonable one-handed opening so I'm fairly happy with this um, I think I'll have to make a, a metal one just to try it properly so thank you for looking